What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and as you know, I do a lot of videos about projectors, and today I wanna to talk about how to choose a projector. Now, I've actually done a video like this a few years ago, but with so many projector options out there nowadays, it can actually be pretty complicated. So the three most important factors when choosing a projector are budget, the location you plan to use it, and what you plan to use it for. So first, I wanna talk about budget. Now, when it comes to projectors nowadays, you can spend as little as $60 all the way into tens of thousands of dollars. But I usually put projectors into five categories when it comes to budget. The first category is what I call toy projectors, which is the cheap ones you see on Amazon that range anywhere from 60 to 150 bucks. And these work well for people who aren't really picky about brightness or colors and just want something fun that they can put on a wall in complete darkness. These projectors are usually good for about a 70 inch screen before they start to get too dim. So if you're looking for a really big screen, you might need to step up to a higher category. And if you are interested in buying one of those really inexpensive projectors you usually see on Amazon, I bought a few of them and did a video on it last year. So I'll throw a link in the video description if you wanna watch that. And the second category is what I call budget home theater projectors. These are really similar to the toy projector category, but they have a lot more brightness. They usually have at least HD resolution and they look much better if you plan on doing a screen 100 inches or larger. And these usually range from around 150 to 500 bucks and includes projectors like the Vivid Bright projector that I showed in that budget projector video. And my third budget category is mid-range home theater projectors, and these usually range from 500 to 1500 bucks. This category is very similar to the second category, but here is where you'll start to see projectors that have much better picture quality and work great in a home theater. They're usually brighter than the projectors in the previous category, and they often produce better color and have a few helpful features like lower input lag for gaming and better support for things like 4K signals and HDR. You'll also start to see actual 4K projectors as you get closer to 1500 bucks. And the fourth budget category is the widest category and that's mid-range projectors. These prices range from around 1500 bucks all the way up to around $5,000 and consist of projectors that most people would shoot for in a dedicated home theater. At this price point, you'll not only see primarily 4K projectors, but you'll also find laser projectors as well as 4K ultra short throw projectors. The only people who would turn their nose up to projectors in this category are people who are super picky about color accuracy and contrast, people who have deep pockets, or someone who's just a home theater snob. And the only way those people can be happy is by buying something in our last category, which is the realm of high-end projectors. These things range from $5,000 all the way to the moon. With these guys, you get pretty much all the stuff you would get from the previous category, but they usually come with a ton of calibration options for you to get the perfect image, and they often boast the highest color reproduction as well as high contrast to appease even the pickiest of home theater enthusiasts. You'll also find some insane 8K projectors in this category, and of course, full-on commercial grade projectors. And this brings me to the next topic I wanna to talk about, which is the space you plan on using your projector in, which is one of the most important things to consider aside from budget. But before I get into that, I wanna take a moment to talk about today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Soundcore. If you've never heard of them, Soundcore is made by Anchor, and they make all sorts of high quality portable speakers and headphones. But the product I want to show you today is the brand new Soundcore Motion X600. So the X600 is actually the world's first portable high fidelity speaker. Now I have to say that I was a bit skeptical about this thing being high fidelity, but as soon as I started playing music through this thing, I was instantly impressed by the clarity, but what surprised me the most was the spatial audio. While I was listening to some R&B music, it actually sounded like the background vocals were coming from behind me, which was honestly kind of hard to believe. And not only does this speaker sound great, but it has a really nice seamless metal design. It comes in three colors and looks and feels like a premium speaker. It has a total of five drivers putting out crystal clear distortion free sound, even with the volume cranked to the max. Now, of course the X600 has Bluetooth, but if you have an Android phone, you can enable LDAC mode, which gives you even better Bluetooth sound quality. It even has an aux port on the back if you wanna connect an external device. And with the X600 being portable, of course it has a built-in battery giving you 12 
12 hours of playtime so you can take your high fidelity music with you anywhere. So if you're a music lover who's picky about sound quality and you're looking for a portable speaker, make sure you check the links in the video description to pick up the X600 today. I want to thank Soundcore for sponsoring this portion of today's video and let's get back to the video and talk about choosing a projector. So as I mentioned earlier, one of the most important things to consider when choosing a projector is the space you plan to use it in. So if you plan on using your projector in a bright room, then you need a bright projector to offset the ambient light. Now you just need to understand that even the brightest projectors can't compete with really bright rooms or direct sunlight. And if you can't hang a projector on your ceiling or you don't want to run wires, then you can buy an ultra short throw projector which sits right on the TV stand in front of your wall. Another thing to think about when it comes to space is the size of your room as some projectors projectors may have a throw that's too long for your room, so you might be limited on screen size or you might need to go with a short throw projector. And another common mistake I see in some rooms is that people might be trying to go with a screen that's too big for their room considering their ceilings aren't high enough. And if you're looking for something portable that you can move around between rooms, you'll want to look at something small, lightweight, and preferably battery operated. All right, now I want to talk specifically about projector brightness. This is probably the thing that people focus on the most when trying to find a projector, but believe it or not, I don't think it's the most important thing. Yes, projector brightness is important, but there are several other factors that you have to consider. For example, I see a lot of people buy projectors that are built specifically for classrooms or businesses. Even though these projectors are usually pretty bright, they unfortunately don't work that well for home theater use, and there's a few reasons for this. The first issue is that they lack color accuracy. Considering they're built to cut through the bright overhead lights in a business, they usually produce a ton of white light, but the colors are not not nearly as vibrant and accurate as a home theater projector. They also don't usually have good contrast and they usually have a lower resolution so they're not as sharp. They also lack features such as support for things like 4K, HDR, ARC, and several other features that are helpful for use in a home theater. Now the brightness issue isn't just limited to business projectors. It also affects some home theater projectors as well. Now I've considered doing a dedicated video about this but I'll talk a little bit about it here. Considering the fact that buyers focus so much much on projector brightness, manufacturers have developed several bright projectors, but the higher up you go in quality and features, you'll notice that their best projector isn't always their brightest one. So it's important to make sure you're getting the best image quality, but don't focus only on brightness because once you turn the lights off, that super bright projector might start to show its weaknesses. And speaking of brightness, this brings us to ultra short throw projectors. Now I've done lots of videos on these guys, but ultra short throws are super popular right now because they're so easy to install. They often have high brightness as most of them use lasers and they've gotten much better with color accuracy and contrast over the years. Not to mention the prices have been slowly dropping as the competition ramps up. Now they're definitely still not cheap, but if you don't want a projector on your ceiling and you want something that's closer to a TV replacement, this might be exactly what you're looking for. Now after having a laser TV in my living room for almost two years now, I can say that I do love it, but it's definitely not perfect on a bright sunny day in a room full of windows since it can wash out the image. Now an ALR or ambient light rejecting screen does help with this, but it can only help but so much. That being said, if you can control the ambient light in your room and you want a TV 100 inches or larger, then an ultra short throw might be worth considering. Now I often have people ask me if they should buy an ultra short throw for their dedicated home theater, and even though there are some good options, I found that in a dark room I still prefer a standard or long throw projector. For similar money you might get better black levels and contrast compared to an ultra ultra short throw. Not to mention you can go much bigger in screen size with a standard projector. Another thing to consider with ultra short throws is ceiling height. Since an ultra short throw sits on the TV stand, you have to consider that there will be a gap between the top of the projector and the bottom of your screen. So if you have low ceilings, you might have to either go with a smaller screen or get a really low TV stand. On top of that, an ultra short throw projector usually sits right where you would normally put a center channel speaker, which can create even more issues. So it really comes down to your room, your budget, and your personal preference. And the next topic I want to go over is mobility for those of you who plan to use a projector outside, in different rooms around the house, or maybe at a friend's house. I'd argue that most projectors can be considered portable, but projectors that are marketed specifically as portable projectors come with a lot of features that make them more appealing for mobility. The very first benefit is a built-in battery. A battery can take a projector to the next level since it allows you to use it outside without a generator or portable power station. Not only does it allow you to watch movies on 
tethered, but with most of them, you can even buy a portable USB charger and easily extend the battery life even further. Some of them even come with a smart TV interface built in, so you don't even have to connect anything to them to watch movies. Now, portable projectors are great for those times that you wanna watch a movie outside, but they aren't usually the brightest, and you usually pay a little bit more of a premium for them over projectors in the budget category, even though the image quality isn't usually that much better. In other words, if you think you're gonna primarily watch movies indoors near an outlet, you can usually get better image quality for less money by buying a standard projector. But either way, portable projectors offer something that most projectors can't offer, especially considering how much battery technology has progressed in recent years. And the last thing I wanna talk about is gaming because not all projectors are created equal when it comes to gaming. Aside from brightness, contrast, color, 4K resolution, and all the other stuff we've already talked about, the most important thing to consider if you're a gamer is input lag. Input lag is the amount of time it takes from you pressing a button on your controller to your character moving on the screen. This may not seem like a big deal, but if your projector has really high input lag, you're gonna have a bad time playing fast-paced games like first-person shooters. Now, if you're a casual gamer, you may not care that much about this, but if the input lag is over 100 milliseconds, it'll affect most games. And aside from input lag, you might also want support for higher refresh rates like 120 hertz, or you want 4K HDR support. These things exist on some projectors, but they're definitely not as common. So if you're a gamer, you definitely wanna make sure you check the specs. And if you're looking for any of the products I mentioned in this video or you just want some options, be sure to check the links in the video description as I'll have some links to those products. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. And of course, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.